Shalom, welcome back. And we are going to be making some Cajun fried salmon and macaroni and cheese. With that, we're going to start off with Alaskan salmon. And just like mine, it does have the skin on the back. Go ahead and remove that and give it a clean wash. But on that note, let's go ahead after I've given it a clean wash, cut this down into bite sizes. I start out with rectangular sizes and then cut them down into even smaller bite sizes. But with that, you guys, make sure that you like, share, and also subscribe to this channel because trust me, you will not be disappointed in these recipes. But on that note, let's get right back into this recipe. So as you can see right now in the video, I am cutting this down into bite sizes. You can cut them down into smaller bite sizes if you desire, but I decided to stick with the larger ones just because I want that extra crunch. Of course, you'll find out. Just keep watching what I'm talking about. So from here, we're going to transfer them into a bowl. And now we're going to add two eggs. The two eggs basically is the bonder. And this is going to make your salmon extra crispy. We're going to be adding a cup, a half a cup of red hot sauce to give it a little kick. And then we're also going to be adding garlic and onion powder, two tablespoons for every seasoning that I'm using. We're going to be using ground black pepper. And I just want to let you know, you can adjust the seasonings to the desire that you like. We're also going to be adding slap your mama. And I understand it might look like a lot of seasoning, but it's not. And it's well worth it. We're also going to be adding garden and herb by Mrs. Dash. And then also slap your mama spicy. Make sure you guys get this, but this is definitely optional. And we're going to be adding Mrs. Dash extra spicy as well too. This gives it just a little kick. This is also optional. And also Larry's seasoning salt because we want this definitely to be a Cajun dish. And I want this fish to be a Cajun taste. And what we're gonna do from here is just give this a quick mix, just like you see me now. And after that's done, you're just going to drizzle on a little bit of buttermilk. That's going to give it an extra layer of crispiness. Okay, give this a quick mix. Go ahead and pop this in the refrigerator while we prepare our flour. And that's what you see me doing now. So let's go ahead and bring out that bowl. And let's prepare our flour. So I am going to be using some Louisiana chicken fry. You can pick this up at Walmart, you guys, and I got this in spicy. So I'm only going to be using about two and a half cups of flour because trust me, this flour does go a long way. But I'm also going to be adding extra seasonings, the exact same seasonings that I use, except for one, that Obey seasoning. This is going to give us more of that seafood kind of taste that I'm going for, slash Cajun taste as well too. So I'm going to be sprinkling two tablespoons of that. And I'm also going to be using some cornstarch because this is going to definitely increase the crispiness. And oops, I spilled a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to clean it up. And then I'm going to go in with the same seasonings prior before as far as repeating the same thing. Because you're going to notice once you take it out of the egg batter, mixed with the buttermilk, a little bit of the seasoning tends to run off. So you're gonna add your seasonings to your flour. So if you ever wondered how to season your flour, this is exactly how. And I don't need to repeat the seasonings because of course I've already repeated them or I've already said them in the beginning, of course. And with that, we're just gonna give this a quick mix. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and put this off to the side. Let's go ahead and start dipping that nice seasoned salmon in the flour. So let's bring back that salmon and let's go ahead and dip them one by one. You don't wanna crowd your bowl, okay? So do them one at a time or at least when you get 
a good enough amount. I usually put four in there at a time, sometimes five, if I'm feeling good. <laughs> but all the times I don't crowd because you don't want the flour to basically crumble up in too much liquid. So you're gonna basically deep fry this in the oil of your choice. And it takes about a good 15 to 20 minutes. Just make sure that you do pay attention to this because it depends on your stove top. And while that's cooking, we're gonna get our noodles ready. Now I decided to use elbow noodles, okay? And I have a two pound box of elbow noodles, but I did not use the entire box. I probably only used about a pound of um, the elbow noodles. And that's pretty much half of the box. And once the salmon is cooked, we're gonna take it out. And I'm gonna give you a little close up. Let's look at that, you guys. My kitchen smells absolutely amazing. Look at the crispiness on this, you guys. This is what I'm talking about. Follow me and you're gonna get crispiness all the time. And with that, once your noodles are done, just make sure you follow the directions on the box. You're just gonna drain this sit is to, uh, and set it to the side, you guys. And we're going to now prepare the sauce. So we are going to use half of an onion, one red pepper, if you're getting a big red pepper and a yellow pepper, you're just gonna use half of it. And you're gonna give this a quick dice, okay? A quick chop. Now, what I want you to do is also have these types of cheeses. Black um, pepper jack, Kobe Monterey jack, extra sharp cheddar cheese, and Gouda, okay? These are all the cheeses that I'm going to be using and definitely don't skip on any of them, okay? So we're gonna give that a quick shred, as you can see here, and we're gonna set that all to the side. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit of the oil that I cooked the fish in and just place it in there because I'm gonna stir fry my, or saute my onions, red pepper, and also yellow pepper, okay? And then from here, I'm also going to put in one tablespoon of minced garlic. Give that a quick stir and let it simmer for just a little bit. Once you start to see it come to a little translucent, we're gonna add at least about a cup and a half of butter. You can use whatever butter of your choice. I basically use country crop butter, but you could definitely use whatever you feel. You're gonna let this basically melt down, okay? And once this has melted down, what you're gonna do is now start to add, look at that y'all, I'm telling you, this, my kitchen is like, ooh, it smells so good. But we're gonna add the cheese, you guys. And listen, we're only gonna add half of the cheese, not all of it, so make sure you reserve some of it for later. You'll see why. Just, of course, keep watching. But once you've added all of your cheese, what you're gonna do is give this a quick stir, you guys. Let the cheese melt down just a little bit, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add some heavy cream, basically whipping cream. And we're just gonna add at least a half a cup, okay? We're gonna start off with that. And then we're gonna add a little bit of additional if you need to, but trust me, you probably won't need it. So once you actually mix all of that together, give it a second, let it melt down. Cause it's going to take a second, it's going to start changing. As you can see, it's a little lumpy. That's okay, keep stirring. The heat will basically, of course, bring that cheese down to where it needs to be at. If so, if you need to add a little bit more heavy whipping cream, but just a little bit by little bit. After that, let's go ahead and go in and season once you've gotten your cheese to where it needs to be. We're gonna season with a little obey, a little slap your mama, because we're making Cajun macaroni and cheese, you guys. 
and we're gonna go in with Extra Spicy Blend by Mrs. Dash. And also some garlic and herb by Mrs. Dash as well too, same thing. This is about two tablespoons and some ground black pepper as well too. And that's for all of the seasonings, by the way. And once you have that together, go ahead and give it a quick mix. Now, you can either do it one or two ways. Look at that, you guys. Just look at that. This smells so good. It just, oh my God. You could even use that for queso, by the way. Now you can do this in one or two ways. The way that I'm doing it is, you remember how I said reserve that cheese? Go ahead and put a little bit of the cheese down below because we definitely want that crust down below. And then we're going to layer this, okay? Just like lasagna. So we're going to add the cheese, then the macaroni noodles, the elbow noodles, and there is one extra ingredient that you guys cannot skip on, and that's going to be definitely um, coming up soon. So keep watching. Of course, and here we are, two eggs. Now, you're going to be using the eggs because the eggs are the binding, okay? In any baked macaroni cheese, you're always going to need eggs. I'm only going to sprinkle on just a little bit because I am layering this because I want that cheese on every single bite every layer so as you can see i'm mixing the egg and you want the cheese and everything else to kind of cool down because you don't want to cook the egg not yet okay now what i'm going to do is pretty much layer my fish so the fried salmon is going into this dish right now and like i said you can even cut it down to smaller sizes, which you're gonna see me do a little later on in the video. Just keep watching. And from here, I'm gonna sprinkle or drizzle on that cheese. Look at that cheese, you guys. Look at that cheese. It's seeping down in every single noodle. And that fried salmon is just soaking up all of that cheese cheesiness so mm, so good and then now we're gonna go back in because we're done drizzling on that cheese we're gonna add just a little bit more cheese on top and like I said it's gonna basically continue until you've pretty much used up everything so layering it once again same process, it just repeats itself. And of course, just to give you guys a snapshot of what that salmon looks like inside. Oh, did you see that? Look at this. Oh, I had to be silent just for that. As you guys can see, the salmon is fried to a perfection. So I broke it up in little smaller pieces because it is, of course, the topper part or the top part of the macaroni and cheese. So I'm just going to pour the rest of that egg on it and now top it off with the remaining cheese that I have and then also sprinkle the last bit of the cheese that I had shredded on top. And once you've done that, that's it. Except for, of course, the cook time. Now, you're gonna put this on 350 degrees for approximately 25 minutes. And once you do so, when the 25 minutes is up, what you're going to do is you're also going to put it on broil. No need for breadcrumbs on top, okay? We're not doing that. So for broil, for about until you can see the top getting that nice crust 
and then that's it. Pull it out, you're done. Make sure you pay attention to it because it will burn, okay? But other than that, I definitely had fun. Stay strong, stay healthy, stay in the spirit. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.